Hey guys, welcome back to the garage. In this video, we've got an MGB with a horn that is doing this. It's a safety horn. It's intended to protect somebody's ears so that if you blow the horn accidentally while they're close to it, it does. Now, anyway, it's not working, obviously. So our goal today is going to be to find out why. A lot of times these horns just corrode on the inside and they just stop working. Uh, but it could also be something as simple as just a bad connection. So we're going to start there and hopefully that's what we find. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys how to read a wiring diagram here. Uh, this one is a 71 MGB, so that's what you're looking at. And don't get afraid when you see wiring diagram pages like this is for a different year so it's really just this page I know there's a lot of lines for some reason the the MG and Austin Healy wiring diagrams that you find in these shop manuals are incredibly complicated looking it's really not that complex they just I don't know badly organized I guess but anyway don't worry about it so much so first thing you need to do is find the horns that's what we know isn't working there is a key that will tell you a few pages earlier which ones the horns are. That's number 23. And you see they even drew a picture of horns. That's pretty cool. And there are two wires uh, that are attached. See, they've, you've got a P and B. That's purple and black. And it goes between the two horns. And then you have a purple wire that goes between the two horns. The key is also going to tell you what these color codes mean. Uh, for example, N usually means brown. B is for black. Uh, if you see two letters, it's going to be uh, two different colors. But anyway, let's start with the purple and black wire. If we trace it, you see it connects to both horns. Goes this way. Follow it all the way down. Where is it going? To number 24. This is your horn push here. And this is just a switch. And then when you see this symbol, that means it goes to ground. So the purple and black wire goes to ground, but it can't get there unless the switch is closed. That's when you are pressing that, uh, the horn push. So, okay, so we know the purple and black wire should be a ground when the horn push is closed. Okay, now we'll look at the purple wire. That jumps between the two. And then if you follow it, it goes to number 19, which is the fuse block. And so, you can check to see, this is a fuse here, you can check to see is that fuse blown. Uh, if it is, obviously replace it. Make sure you use the correct type of slow blow fuse. Get them from a, a parts dealer that specializes in British cars. Do not go to the auto parts store. You will find a fuse that fits, but it's going to be the incorrect type and it could turn your wiring harness into the fuse instead of the fuse itself get the correct one. Uh, but anyway, this purple wire should be connected to a positive source because it's a negative ground car. And the purple with black wire should be not really connected to anything, but when you push the horn push down, then it's connected to ground because it routes that way and goes to ground here. So that's what we're expecting to see with this. Uh, let's check it and see what we actually have. I'm going to show you how to use a test light. Test light, basically, if you've been through a high school physics class, you know that if you run a light bulb and connect positive and negative wires to it, then you're going to get a complete circuit and that light bulb should light. So, we're going to connect this alligator clip to a ground. We'll just find one on our engine. Because the engine is grounded. And then, I'm going to pull the wires off of our horn. Uh, here's the purple with black wire. Here's the purple wire. Sometimes you have to clean it off with a rag. And what we're going to do is just touch in here. And there you go. We've got a light. That means we are getting power to this wire. Okay, and then over here, we're expecting to see the same thing. There we go. So we know we're getting power to the horns. If we were not, we would follow a different wire. For example, this one. And that goes to number two, oh, sorry, 102. 102 is the map light. So if your map light is working, but the horns aren't, then you would have to question this wire. My next step here, you can check the ground, but what I'm gonna guess is that these terminals might actually just be a bit dirty. So I am going to put something here so that we're not accidentally touching wires to ground and I'm just going to clean up the terminals a little bit
You could just as easily do this with a piece of sandpaper if you don't have a Dremel. And let's plug everything back in and see if it works now. And hopefully it's just that simple. Make sure those connections are all the way on. And let's see what we've got. And there you have it. So it was just a bad connection. Now, one of the things that you can do if your horn is not working and you're not sure if it's the wiring or not. I'm going to turn off the battery just so I can pull the wires off and not worry about what they're touching. Okay, now let's say you wanted to test the individual components on here. So I've shut the battery off and I've pulled the wires off the horn here. Uh, and I really only shut the battery off so that I don't accidentally touch something with a positive wire. But anyway, you can get power source of some kind, a uh, small battery like this one works, and some jump leads. And what you'll want to do is connect ground to whichever side is normally ground, in this case it's negative. Put that onto the horn, and then put the other wire on. And I'm going to shift this over just so I can be sure that you're seeing it. And then once it's connected, just tap the wires together, and if the horn goes, you know it works. There you go. So we've verified operation of the horn. You could do this for both of them and make sure the actual unit works. If it does, then again, you might want to suspect the wiring. Uh, but you could do these checks in pretty much any order, and you could start to rule things out. So that is what you do if you've got an electrical issue. Just very logically go through it one step at a time. See where you're getting power, where you're not, what works and what doesn't. And just follow the wiring diagram. It Basically, it's you know, the top to bottom flow is the way to think of it. It flows from the battery, and I know if you're an electrical engineer, technically it's negative to positive, forget that. Just it flows from the battery to ground, and it always does that, and then from ground it has to get back to the battery. And so just look at it that way and start to trace the lines where are you getting power from where is it going to where is it stopping along the way and then on the wiring diagram you can you can follow that you could test it at various points and that is the way to fix basically anything on this car that is electrical you know, just go through it logically see what's working and what's not but yeah horns work now we're done Okay guys, so that's it for this video. Uh, hopefully that helps. Uh, pretty much anything electric on the car is gonna work that way. You just have to be able to look at the wiring diagram and isolate the complete circuit. So one way to do that if you need to, get a piece of paper and just draw it out. I'll show you what I mean. So you've got the wiring diagram here that we looked at earlier, right? It goes from the horns, uh, you get positive power coming in, it goes to the horn push, okay. So rather than look at the confusing booklet, Try isolating that and then just draw it out, right? So you've got your horn here, you've got another horn here. You know that there is a purple wire and you know there is a purple with black. And then you know that that purple with black goes to, you can label it if you want. You know that that purple and black goes to a horn button and you know that that goes to ground and this purple wire you know that you should have a positive source getting to and that positive source is going to come from the fuse and it should be positive on the other side of that too and so that's basically your wiring it's positive here and then this is i mean eventually this is a brown wire and it's going to go to the battery so that's basically your whole circuit, right, for the horn. You've got a, a wire, in this case it's positive, from the battery, goes through a fuse, turns into a purple wire, still positive, goes to the horns, connects to both of them, and you don't have a complete circuit yet. Now you've got the purple, purple and black wire, which is going down to the horn push, and it's not reaching ground, 
until you press that button because that is a switch that is open until you press down on that button you connect the two metal pieces and you've done what we just did with the battery ground by the way basically means it goes back to the battery and now you've got your complete circuit if it were a light bulb it would light up in this case you've got horns and they are going to sound and so you can isolate everything by just drawing it out like this and you can maybe more easily visualize the whole system figure out where it's not working so guys that's it for this video hopefully this is helpful to you uh, you should know how to read a wiring diagram if you're going to be working on these cars it's not difficult it just takes a little bit of practice following lines i like to use a little pick like this one something with a sharp point pen will work fine uh, just something so that you can trace the wires because if there's a lot of them on the page it can be a little bit difficult to see you can go online to forums and you can find downloadable pdfs which have color wiring diagrams you can buy blown up ones and put it on your wall uh, there's a lot of things you can do but you've got to get cust accustomed to looking at those wiring diagrams and figuring out well how does the circuit work and once you can do that I promise you you are going to be much better equipped to make sure that your car stays on the road uh, usually it just comes down to a bad connection and so a bullet terminal that needs to be cleaned up and put back in something like that works fine um, a relay that's not relaying power, uh, the bad ground, you know, a number of things like that you can trace out if you've got a test light and a wiring diagram to follow. So hopefully this is helpful. If you've got questions, post it in the comments below. Otherwise, like, subscribe. Uh, you know, it really does help the channel. Thank you guys very much for your support, and we'll see you soon.